Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to uh, reverse a number mathematically. So let me create a comment so we can work in between that. So let's say that we have the number 1, 2, 3 and we want to reverse it to get 3, 2, 1. So what we need to do is have a variable uh, with the value 0. So what we'll do is we'll take 1, 2, 3 and we'll get, we'll mod that by 10 to get the remainder which is going to equal to 3. All right. Uh, next, what we do is we say 0, right, uh, times 10, right, is going to equal to 0 plus the remainder, which is equal to 3. So remember that whatever value that we get here, we're storing it inside of a variable, right? So this 3 is going to be stored inside of a variable that we can later on use. And then what we want to do next is we want to take this number 1 to 3, and one divided by 10 and that's going to give us 12 all right so now that we have this we have to go ahead now and redo the process again so now we have 12 and we mod that by 10 and we're going to get 2. so remember that we had that 3 stored as a variable so now we're going to say 3 times 10 and this is going to equal to 30 and then we add the 2 to it to make it uh, 32 all right so next we do is we do 12 uh, divided by 10 and this is gonna give us 1 so we go back to this spot again and we go 1 mod 10 is gonna equal to 1 and then what we do is we say uh, 3 32 times 10 is gonna give us uh, 320 plus uh, 1, right, is going to equal um, 3, 21, all right. And then uh, we're done because the number noun, if we go uh, number, so it's going to be 1, right, divided by 10, right, and this can divide into 10, right, so uh, this should give us 0. Um, so what we want to do is that when the number finally is greater than zero, right, and it's not less than zero, if the number is greater than zero, we keep going, or eventually we just stop, okay? So um, one divided by 10 is not going to work, right? So what we can do now is we can stop here, all right? And so let's go ahead now and actually uh, implement this solution here. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a private static int uh, I'm going to call this reversed and I'm going to take in a number to be reversed. It's going to be an int. I'm going to call it a number. All right. So all I want to do first is we want to uh, keep that remainder. Remember? So we take the remainder and then we need that number uh, that we need to reverse. So we keep track of that reverse state. So I'm going to make this uh, zero here. So you can use a for loop or while loop. It's easier to use a while loop. But first, before we do this, um, we can just say, well, if um, a number is less than or equal to zero, then we could just return zero. All right. So if that passes, we say uh, while a number is greater than zero, then uh, we can get a remainder. So we say remainder equal to number mod 10 okay next thing we want to do is we want to get the reverse value so that reverse value equals to uh, be uh, the reversed uh, times 10 so remember if we get whatever number we get from the mod or remainder and then we have to add that to this part right here so we add that remainder here all right next thing we want to do is we want to divide the number by 10 so we want to say number equals to divided by equals to 10 right and this is it we're done so this loop we keep looping until the number is greater than zero and it can be lower than that next what I want to do here is just go ahead now and uh, return uh, reversed and we're finished alright so what I want to do next is show you another guys another way where we can cheat the system by using string builder uh, this is the only built-in method that I know of in Java so far that can reverse something all right, so what we want to do is create another private um, static 
let me call this uh, int. I'm gonna call this um, builder uh, reversed. All right, just because we're using a string builder here, I'm gonna take an int and number. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to create a string builder variable. So I'm gonna use a string builder. All right, I'm gonna call this s here, and this is gonna equal to a new string builder. I keep messing up, and uh, I'm gonna take use the integers uh, dot two dot two string method to reverse. I mean to convert the string to a convert number to a string, so we can pass that in. All right, so now we have a string with s here, and then what I can do is just do this in one line. So. Uh, I mean, it should be clear enough for most people that program anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do S here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the integers class here, and I'm gonna use the parse in method. And what I wanna do is I wanna take S and use the reverse method. And then what I wanna do is get the two string of it. So we can get that string to reverse as an integer. And this is it. So uh, this is how you would reverse, an easy way that you would reverse a number um, in Java and then get back a number. So here I'm going to go ahead and create a public uh, static void uh, main so we can actually test this. Alright, so now we have this part right here. Uh, we just do a SRC shortcut and I'm going to put in reverse and I'm going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4. So we should get uh, 4, 3, or 2, 1. And I'm going to use the same thing here for the other one. So I'm going to use uh, builder. Uh, reverse. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, and um, you should, when we run this, both numbers should be reversed in the same way. And you guys can see that both numbers are uh, uh, reversed. Um, what could this be useful for? Uh, things like checking to see if a number is palindrome or not. Um, this, this, this could work. You could use this for this, for that. Um, yeah. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have a better code uh, that you can use to make this work, uh, please drop it down in the section below. I'll see you guys next tutorial. Have a good day. Bye-bye.